So I've got my disk system here, but it needs a new belt. Uh, it won't read the disk, and the person who I bought it from told me that it needed a new belt, so that's what I'm going to try and do in this video. I've got some replacement belts, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to follow these instructions from FamicomDiskSystem.com and these are the replacement belts that I got um, some solo in Japan I uh, reckon they're polyurethane and claim to be much longer lasting than the original ones so hopefully that'll be good uh, it looks like it'll be a fairly complicated process to replace but I need to get this thing fixed and it should be interesting taking it apart I've got the drive out now, and I've just taken the bottom plate off. Uh, first we'll have a look around here, so there's the main connection, and I suppose that's the motor that runs it. It's just interesting, all this old mechanical disk drive stuff that used to have to get used um, for data storage. Uh, just old technology is just kind of funny how mechanical it was where everything now is just all uh, no moving parts with USB drives and solid state drives and all that sort of thing I've got that plate off and we can see that the belt is just completely broken um, There's a little bit of it. So that explains why it doesn't work. I don't know where the rest of the belt is, but it'll be in there somewhere. We've got more of it apart now, and we can see bits of belt on here. I'll have to get all that off and there's bits of belt stuck on this one as well. Yeah, it's going alright so far. I'll just have to carefully clean that stuff off and then put the new one on. It's taken a bit of work but I've cleaned it about as best as it's gonna get. It's hard to tell because it's such a small part but there was a lot of old rubber stuck to that wheel. Um, so I've cleaned it um, about as best as I can. There's still a few tiny bits stuck to it, but I can't really get them off. I think it'll be alright though. So I just have to start putting it back together now, uh, following whatever the instructions say to do next. Okay, it was very awkward to do, but the belt is now on. And it's turning the wheel. I think there's still a few more things that need to be done to make it fully working again. Um, I'll just keep following the steps and hopefully it turns out all good. So the first time I put this circuit board back on, um, I noticed this sliding bit wasn't going all the way back to press this switch like that. It was kind of just stopping there. And I was trying to work out why and looking at the photos in the instructions. And that's when I noticed this bottom plate here, it kind of rotated 90 degrees around here as I had taken this um, top bracket off so I managed to get it back around to where it's supposed to be and that seems to be all back together now properly and that's sliding forward and back to hit both switches so it's slowly getting back together there's still a bit more to go though it's mostly back together now, so I can test it and hopefully it works. 
if it doesn't work, the instructions say something has to be recalibrated with the drive head or I'm not sure exactly what, but I'm going to take it over and plug it in now and we'll see if it does what it's supposed to do. So this is currently the only disc I have. I don't know what this game is called. Um, I think someone did tell me, but I can't remember now. We'll put the disc in and see what it does. Sounds like it's working. Disk trouble. No. Still nothing, so I will have to try the uh, that recalibration or whatever the instructions were saying. So what I've just done was take off the disk kind of tray, and it gets you to wind the. I suppose gear system back to when this goes all the way back to the starting position and this here this flat face with the screw is supposed to be parallel with this so as they are now where uh, in the process of changing the belt it can get misaligned so this was turned 90 degrees around here facing the wrong way so hopefully now I'll put it back together and it will work. Got it back together again now, so I'm going to give it one more try. It's getting kind of late now, so I really hope this is going to work. It's working. Amazing. It's actually working. <laughs> it's funny to see a loading screen on a NES game or a Famicom game. Okay, now that it's working, I need to try it. So it's got scramble laws. I've got no idea what this game is. Uh, I guess so. Don't know what any of that is. Loading again. Set so side B. So I have to what, change the disc over? Working. <laughs> it's working. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here, but there's like a grid and a thing I'm aiming. to do in this game, but I'm just glad that it's actually working. Um, did 
because one last little thing I will while the top of the thing is off I'll get just a bit of footage of it loading the disc because it looks cool Well, it's now the day after I fixed the disk system and the other two games I mentioned arrived. So I've got 3D Hot Rally and Zelda. So I have tested these. Um, I'll just put them in now just to demo. So that was working. I really wish the picture quality on these old RF cables was better. Um, I did change to a different RF cable, but it, it wasn't really that different. Um, uh, and 3D Hot Rally is one of the blue discs that has a cover over the thing there. It's normally they're just left open. that's working. Um, I think I'm supposed to change it over to side B now but the B side doesn't seem to be working for some reason. I sent a message to the seller and he reckoned it was working in his disk system so maybe this one is still not quite working perfectly. So it just says error 23. But I'm just glad the disk system is working at all. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be all. So it's been very interesting fixing this thing. And hopefully it's been an interesting video as well.